Have you ever wondered what would happen if we lost contact with a spacecraft billions of miles away in space? Picture this. Voyager 2, an intrepid explorer of the cosmos, suddenly goes silent. The culprit. A tiny error. A slight tilt in the antenna that cut off our communication link. It's like losing a needle in a cosmic haystack. This accidental communication breakdown underscores the delicate nature of our connection with these distant explorers. You see, maintaining contact with spacecraft like Voyager 2 falls to NASA's Deep Space Network, an intricate web of antennas and communication devices scattered across the globe. These devices listen for the faint whispers of signals sent from billions of miles away, amplifying them so we can decipher their messages. But even with this high-tech network, a minor misstep can lead to a major problem. So, a slight tilt in the antenna and contact with Voyager 2 was lost. Imagine straining to hear a faint whisper in the midst of a roaring storm. That's what NASA's Deep Space Network does every day. Now picture Canberra's giant dish antenna, the linchpin of this network, diligently scanning the cosmos, eyes peeled for signals from Voyager 2. This task is far from simple. It's akin to finding a grain of sand in the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert. Voyager 2, a spacecraft billions of miles away, emits signals so faint that they're drowned by the cosmic noise the universe's own version of white noise. Every day, the giant dish antenna faces the daunting task of distinguishing these signals from the cacophony of space. It's a game of hide-and-seek on an interstellar scale. The uncertainties and difficulties are immense, but so is the resolve of those behind the mission. They're determined to reconnect with the far-flung Voyager 2 to continue its incredible journey of discovery. The search was like looking for a needle in a haystack, but NASA was not ready to give up. In the vast silence of space, NASA had to take a long shot. Picture this, you're trying to hit a tiny target billions of miles away. That's the challenge faced by NASA's engineers when they strategized to send commands to Voyager 2. It wasn't just about sending a signal, it had to be the right one, aimed precisely at the spacecraft's location. Imagine the patience and precision required. Every command dispatched was like a message in a bottle, thrown into the cosmic ocean, hoping to reach Voyager 2 amidst the vastness of space. Each command was meticulously crafted, calculated for precision, and sent on its way, bombarding the spacecraft's vicinity with a hail of data. But the challenge didn't end there. The team had to wait, with bated breath, for the signals to traverse the unfathomable distance. It was a waiting game, with the stakes higher than ever. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2's mission was historic in nature and unprecedented in ambition. Its journey is an incredible tale of human ingenuity and a testament to our innate curiosity. This spacecraft, born from our yearning to explore the cosmos, was tasked with a daring mission to journey to the outer planets of our solar system and beyond. Voyager 2 was a pioneering adventurer, the first of its kind to visit Uranus and Neptune. It unveiled the astonishingly dynamic nature of these ice giants their moons and their captivating ring systems. It's fascinating to think that these far-flung celestial bodies were studied up close for the first time by a device of human creation. But Voyager 2 didn't stop at the outer planets. It continued its journey, pushing the boundaries of human reach. It traversed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence wanes and the interstellar medium begins. In doing so, it became only the second human-made object to enter interstellar space, following in the footsteps of its sibling, Voyager 1. Speaking of Voyager 1, it holds a record of its own. Voyager 1 is currently the farthest spacecraft from Earth, a breathtaking 15 billion miles away and counting. Yet, despite this mind-boggling distance, we remain in contact. The strength of human innovation and our thirst for knowledge keep us connected to these distant explorers. Voyager 2's journey, like that of Voyager 1, is a testament to our tenacity and resilience. From their launch in the late 70s to their continued exploration in the present day, these spacecraft embody our relentless spirit of discovery. They remind us that our reach, both literally and metaphorically, is limited only by our imagination. Despite being billions of miles away, Voyager 1 and 2 continue to inspire us with their resilience and tenacity. Their journeys serve as a beacon, lighting the way for future space exploration missions and reminding us that the universe is ours to discover. In space communications, patience is not just a virtue, it's a necessity. 
As we find ourselves in the midst of this vast cosmic silence, we're waiting for October's automatic reset. A beacon of hope in the darkness, this reset could potentially restore our communication link with Voyager 2. This is not a guaranteed fix. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this event. After all, we're dealing with a spacecraft that's billions of miles away. But the anticipation is palpable. Imagine, after months of silence, the possibility of hearing that subtle whisper of data from a spacecraft launched over four decades ago. The automatic reset is a testament to the foresight of Voyager's engineers, who built in this feature, anticipating potential communication disruptions. It's a long shot, but in the realm of space exploration, long shots are what we live for. As we wait for the automatic reset, we are reminded of the incredible journey Voyager 2 has undertaken. Voyager 1 and 2 have not just explored the mysteries of our solar system, they have inspired a generation of space enthusiasts. These twin spacecraft, launched in 1977, pioneered the exploration of the outer planets and have since journeyed beyond into interstellar space. Their legacy? Unraveling the mysteries of our solar system and beyond, from discovering volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon, Io, to the unexpected magnetic field of Uranus. They've also transformed our approach to space communication, as we've strived to maintain contact with Voyager 2 over 15 billion miles away, we've had to innovate, to adapt, and it's these very challenges that are shaping the future of communication with distant spacecraft. As Voyager 2 continues its journey, we are reminded of our human spirit of exploration, reaching beyond the boundaries of our solar system. The Voyagers, humanity's farthest and fastest spacecraft, still whisper back to us from the void, reminding us of our incredible journey into the cosmos.